Welcome to the demonstration of the Cosmo T Pilot 5 deployment tailored to Kubernetes infrastructure and IoT service provisioning in Athens, Greece, in the context of the Aeros project. Aeros Pilot 5 runs in the Cosmo T research and development Leonardo testbed that is comprised of multiple interconnected testbeds, an ICT multi cloud, a 5G non standalone, a 5G standalone, and an IoT end to end testbed. The Leonardo Lab is interconnected over 1 to 10 gigabits per second with universities and research institutes and can be further extended and easily interconnected to additional facilities. Furthermore, 5G RAN equipment has been deployed in remote sites for testing and demo purposes. In this short video, we are focusing on the Kubernetes and IoT infrastructure only. The master node of the Kubernetes cluster is equipped with 16 virtual CPUs, 32 gigabytes of memory, and a 100 gigabytes hard disk, ensuring sufficient resources for efficient orchestration of the cluster's operations. Each worker node can be an upboard equipped with a 2 Intel N3350 and 8 gigabytes memory enabling efficient execution and scaling of application workloads or a nuke with Linux OS or a VM on a hypervisor like ESXi for example. The Leonardo IoT testbed currently supports a wide range of both commercial and custom-end devices and sensors such as temperature, humidity, pressure, activity, luminance, buttons, door or window sensor smoke, fire presence, air quality as well as power and energy-related ones such as relays and power meters from various manufacturers while supporting different access technologies such as BLE, Zigbee, Z-Wave, Wi-Fi, NB-IoT, LoRa, Sigfox. For an indicative list of the sensors that have been deployed for various IoT applications, smart home or building, smart cities, etc. Since the Leonardo IoT testbed is based on an open architecture and open source tools, it may simplify and accelerate the development of new services and capabilities. Simplify the integration of the testbed with third party integrators by offering various APIs for real time and offline historical data acquisition while providing them with the ability to use preferred tools for deep-dive data analysis and provide the appropriate web GUIs with dashboards and real-world representation to its end-users. Last but not least, it offers an open, JSON-based API between the IoT sensor and the backend to achieve full technology compatibility. As part of the Aeros pilot, in four offices, we have deployed various automations to achieve low energy consumption and high room occupancy while maintaining high air quality. Door and window sensors are sending alerts if doors or windows are left open to avoid energy waste. Temperature and humidity sensors are measuring the temperature and humidity levels. Motion sensors are tracking employee presence through unique credentials or device tracking. Smart switches controlling heating and humidifiers based on automation and sensor readings. Power meters to count the consumption and power on or off devices. Gas sensors for detecting indoor air pollutants and triggering actions to improve air quality. Gateways are installed to accommodate a room or cluster of rooms, IoT sensors as data collection. HVAC, controlling air conditioning based on automation and sensor readings. Air quality sensors to monitor levels of dust, carbon dioxide and monoxide, ozone and hydrogen in the air, based on the above the air purifier and the dehumidifier ionizer, are automatically powered on.